Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this episode. Today I want to bring up the history and the mystery of what is known as ancient ant colonies. Those that have been inhabited by pismires and ants and other eight-legged creatures that build things that sometimes resemble blunted pyramids with a hole in the middle. So anyways, here we go, by golly. Like I said at the top, we're going to investigate and look into ancient ant colonies, the mystery about them and how they managed to build all those ant hills. I like to think that maybe they got a little help from extra trash gills, but that will be discussed in maybe some other episode. You could spend hours on aliens and such, by golly. But anyways, let's delve into the origins of the ancient ant colonies. It's been thousands of years, and at one point they were considered to be much larger creatures at one time, sort of on the scale of some of the smaller dinosaurs, and thusly the ant hills they built by Gully were... Um, You know, they just sort of uh, evolved into more elaborate designs by Gully. And eventually they would build these near the rivers and the waters because they would transport raft loads or I don't know exactly uh, how they got the sand to these other locations in order to build these structures. But I figured they'd have to transport it by river. It seemed easier than transporting it by, at the time, I don't even think the wheel was invented. So this is one of the unexplained mysteries for sure, but I think we can come to certain conclusions, by golly. Well, then, you know, after a while, by golly, it was easy to surmise that ants are capable of carrying great weights. And so I think it may have been a combination of transporting certain loads of sand on the river, but also they did eventually, you know, they didn't need wheels. They could drag this stuff because they were so strong. So they dragged the sand to the location where they would build their sand hills or ant hills. And as I kept looking into the origin of how these ant hills could be built, I couldn't help but compare it to the structures in the United States down in Mesa Verde. And there's uh, some other cliff dwellings too where they would cultivate the sand from the sides of the cliff and then transport it over to the location again by gully where they needed to build these structures and they kept getting more ambitious with each time where first there were some smaller anthills by gully and then they they became bigger and a little bit bigger and then upon my further research i couldn't help but notice that once they had built these structures that were based on the same structures of Mesa Verde, but much smaller. There were flagpoles, by golly, sticking out of them. And the reason why was ants had the tendency to create clans, and so they would run up flags on these flagpoles to identify one clan from another. So eventually, the ant population grew so large that they had to start migrating and some headed north and some headed south. And so the ones that headed north discovered the Antarctica. And you know what happened to that species? They froze to death, by golly. And so in the end, all you can find up there are remnants buried in the ice and snow. The other ones that headed south they discovered Antigua, and there was a warm climate and plenty of succulent fruit, by golly. And they thrived and thrived, and thusly, in the long run, they started coming back and populating the larger regions of the earth. What about the ants traveling east and west, by golly? 
how did they cross the oceans? If they went north and south, by golly, they could walk. But if they're going east or west, they had to cross the oceans. I found out because they could carry these big twigs and heavier things that we could not carry with our body mass, by golly, they had to build these flotillas and they would load up thousands of these ants from the different clans, by golly. They remembered to bring their flagpoles with them too because when they go to another land, they'd have to say, hey, this is what we are. We are this certain clan, by golly. And sure enough, once they got to this other land, by golly, they encountered more opposition because what they didn't realize, some of these lands were inhabited by aardvarks, by golly. So I couldn't help come to the conclusion, by golly, that the ants are very similar to the way humans migrated and populated and created colonization in the way that we would sail across the oceans, by golly, and create colonies and build structures, by golly. Sometimes they resemble pyramids, by golly. Sometimes they resemble anthills, by golly. And sometimes they resembled sandcastles, by golly. By golly. By golly. By golly. By golly. Hmm. What's happening here, by golly? What's happening here, by golly? By golly. 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 I, by golly, hope, by golly, you, by golly, enjoy, by golly, this episode, by golly. Anyways, I wish I could stop saying, by golly, by golly. Thank you.